Hey, Brody. It's, it's your sister. Okay, so I'm going to tell you this story because I don't want to type right now. On Thanksgiving, Mom uh, said, Emma, do you remember that time when we were on that big vacation and we were in Colorado and you went missing? And I said, excuse me? But so what she proceeded to say was literally, Kevin, it was weird because it was like listening to somebody narrate one of the nightmares I've had or um, like or, or a scary movie I'd seen once that gave me a stomach ache. But she's telling it to me like it was like real and I'm like, but apparently, so this is the, the way she told it. We were at a rest stop. It was the Colorado River. Um, and it was just like kind of stormy or something. And the river was overflowing. It was flooding. And um, when I went missing, it was because I was a big girl. And I wanted to go into the bathroom by myself at the rest stop. And I was like, Mom, you stay out there. That's embarrassing. I don't need a chaperone. But I, I guess there was an entrance on both sides. So when I left the stall, I went out the side mom wasn't. And mom said she waited for 20 minutes, which I'm like, mom, what the heck? 20 minutes? Well, you waited for 20 minutes? <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. But, so, she couldn't find me. She goes in the bathroom. I'm not there. She looks all over. Can't find me. She... So I guess what happens is they shut down the entire rest area. Well, the park rangers or the um, and law enforcement show up. They shut shut it down, and then they don't let any cars come or go without they searched cars. And she's telling me this story, and when she was telling it to me, my stomach was like nodding up because like I remember a bad dream you know but she's telling this story like it's real and and then I said but well, I said was there really tall grass like a field kind of of tall grass and she goes yes Emma because you were gone for hours and when they found you you were lying under a tree, like in the field, like way, it's weird. Anyways, and I kind of seem to remember, I seem to remember somebody saying they knew that somebody was looking for me and to follow them and I went out into this grass. It's a funny story, but I thought it was a dream. But then I think, okay, how come I've never heard of this before? That's like I mean, it explains a lot like about like homesickness and all this stuff which is so funny how you can tell yourself you're weak or you have a um but really you're just like probably got a little traumatized or something that that made it hard but so I called dad uh, I asked you yesterday and then I I talked to dad this morning cuz I wanted to like hear like did that happen not that I don't think mom mom is very cognizant and she's doing really well with her knee and it's amazing to watch her she's more active right now than I've seen her in a long time um but yeah so dad's version he was like oh yes Emma you went missing it's so funny uh and it was the trip we got the ruse yeah I loved the ruse they mine were blue and it had a little zipper thing of a pocket we put pennies in them <coughs> I'm sorry I've got a little bit of a cold but um but dad's version is that we were at a campground and they shut the campground down but he, he said that we were at in Colorado at the Rio de lo, blah, 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 lo, such and such which meant uh, he goes Emma it means the valley or the river of lost souls <laughs> which is funny I mean, that's funny. So I got lost at the River of Lost Souls. But he said they were searching the riverbanks. They were searching because of the. they thought I had gotten swept away. They thought I they searched everybody's cars. They wouldn't, you know, before they could come or before they could go. So, but yeah, that happened. I guess it's real. 
So anyways, that's the story. Way easier to just say it out loud than to type it. I'm doing well, Brody. I love you. I miss you. I hope you're surviving this uh, pandemic. Exciting time in history we're living in, bro. I love you. I miss you. I'll talk to you soon. Call mom more often, please. Thank you. Goodbye.